So today we're gonna hook up my RC work area down in my basement. All right, so I can start cleaning up my garage know, a little when bit. When I'm out and about, stores, at work, whatever, I'm always thinking about RC. I got RC in my mind always. Tools, uh, you know, what, what can be used constantly throughout the day, every day. All right, that's how, this is a work bag right there. All right, the first time I seen it, I thought RC. I thought RC, the first, the first day I saw it. And look, it's perfect for RC. For Instead of carrying a toolbox with you at bash events or in racetracks, look, boom. You can do a lot, you can carry a lot with this. All right? And listen, I got good, uh, decent air compressors in my garage. Um, I have videos of it. Um, this is a real shitty air compressor. I mean, this is probably only good to fill up basketballs and soccer balls, all right? This, this is not good for cleaning your RCs after you wash them or cleaning your quads. You could probably barely fill up a tire with this, all right? This isn't like heavy duty, all right? What I'm trying to say. It's so, but it's good enough for what I thought I wanted to do here, all right? I didn't even know if it fits back there. I may even have to chop off uh, and customize this air compressor to work back there. So when I was out and about, like I say, I always have RC in my mind wherever I go. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, RC, this is this would be great for when I clean my diffs. I do a lot of diffs here a year, all right? My friends' diffs, my cousins, mine. You know, I'm constantly going over diffs, checking out how the diffs are, thickening the oil, all that stuff. You, you guys know that. Well, most of you do. And, um, and um, you have to clean them out. You know, you use natural blast, the brake cleaner, whatever, and then you need some air, you know, so... Instead of going to the garage in the winter or whatever, um, I'll have air down here, ready to go. I won't have to leave here. I can stay here and do the job complete. You understand? So there are a few things. You can't just get this and mount that, put it over there. Because I can't keep taking this in and out. This, this workbench has to stay there, permanent. All right, so any every air compressor, produces water in the tank so my problem was how the hell am i gonna i don't even know if it fits there we're gonna see if it fits there if it doesn't like i said we're gonna have to chop it up and customize this to make it work back there so hopefully it's just by removing the handle or i may have to separate the engine from the tank and it's gonna be a mess but i will we will make it happen um you can't just let's just say it does fit there you can't just keep that back there and not move this because you have to drain the water on these air compressors every now and then. So, that's what this hose comes in. So, let's start getting busy here. All right, let's 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 take take this guy out here. Let's take this out here. I don't know if I haven't done nothing to my hatchet or axes yet. All right, so... Hopefully, it's good enough for what I need it for. And this is not, again, this is not an air compressor for your garage for real work. It's not. All right. It's for little things. Okay, so. So, very cool. Nice and new. Before anything, let's plug it in, see if this thing works. People say sometimes they don't work right out of the box. And the gauges uh, come broke. Hopefully, I don't, we don't have to be uh, changing out gauges or upgrading them. This is what we're going to have to definitely modify right here. I don't know what the hell just fell. All right, so this is what we need to modify right here. All right, see this? Damn, it even comes with air. Who the, maybe somebody already used this. Who knows? Oh, God. All right, so anyway, we're going to take this out. I have to go in my garage and look for adapters and... Where the hell did it go? And we're gonna have to hook up this this hose over here and extend that. And then re reuse this on here. 
or put another piece on. Right. So little by little, you're gonna start seeing me hooking this up. All right, I may do something here on the low. And if my, my wife sees it, it's gonna be too late. I may throw another bench here. Not like this, not as wide. Hopefully it'll be skinnier, but it's gonna be longer. And uh, it's not gonna have pegboard. I wish it could have freaking pegboard. Yo, trust me, believe me, if it was up to me, this whole wall would be pegboard, man. Believe me. Uh, this whole shit right here would be pegboard, but I can't. And that's it. But uh, I may have, uh, <clears throat> I may do, I really want a nice toolbox here. All right, just for my RC tools. I have a ton of RC tools. I want to separate all my good RC tools. I, I do not want to rely on my work tools, my tools that I have in my garage. I do not want to rely on my pit bag, my my bag of tools that are great. I, that bag right there has a ton of tools. I could probably do almost anything with that. I've helped out many people with those tools in there. And um, I can build race kits and do whatever. I can build a two-stroke engine out of that. Uh, bag, but I want to keep that bag just for as a pit bag, as as bash bag, and for taking out with me carry bag. Okay, I want to put set up a new toolbox here, just RC. All right, it's gonna have flywheel pullers, piston stoppers, everything, all the MIP stuff. It's gonna have all my good shit that I do not want to bring with me to places and lose. All right, it's good. That's what I, my my goal is now. Eventually we will get to that. But for now we're gonna hook up this here. And um, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with a toolbox or a work bench slash toolbox. All right, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking about two things, I got two ideas. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm, I'm thinking of doing, All right? I, I do have a lot of work ahead of me. I have to, we have to, we're working on this. 5T, low C 5T, X2 slash LT build here, all right? I've also done a, a 5T in the past. You guys seen my, my Chrome low C 5T be born here, reborn here, all right? I actually rebuilt that truck twice, all right? Well, I bought it stock, then I built it for racing only, and then I had it for many years after that, and then I rebuilt it for it was supposed to be a bash truck, but it wound up being a, a freaking shelf queen, all right? So, anyway, let's get, get busy here. Okay, so as usual, nothing goes smoothly. Uh, I'm having a hard time taking this sucker out. I don't know what the hell they did here. I don't know what the hell kind of Loctite they used here, but it feels like if it's welded on here, man. So. Let me try out this heat gun. Let me get this hot. If this don't work, I gotta go get the map gas and heat this up real good so I can remove that out. All right. <clears throat> Finally got it broke. Finally got it released here. Holy shit, man. Shit, it's hot. All right, so, the hell kind of, I think they f freaking used liquid nails as Loctite on this son of a bitch right here. Hopefully, the, there's an O-ring in here. Hopefully, it's still good. I got it pretty hot. Hopefully, it didn't melt away or go to crap. Yeah, so anyway, look, take a close look here. It's that shit. The hell they putting the threads here, man, really? All right, so let me clean up this crap. I want to see if this fits here. Yes, it does. All right, I don't know if I should put an adapter. I'm just gonna, I wanna put some white Teflon tape here. We're gonna put her here. We're gonna screw this son of a bitch on nice and tight. And I'm gonna have to go to the garage and look for an adapter and reuse this. Hopefully this doesn't leak. All right, we're gonna put it here. I need to get a, a double female and to connect these two together and this will be my drain i just got this plugged in temporarily let's see if this even works oh, 
Seems like uh, it builds up pressure pretty quickly. All right. All right. So, reason why I started this up is one, I wanted to see if it worked, so I'm not over here wasting my time, and two is when I removed this here, there was crap over here in the threads, and it was sideways, and some of that crap went inside the tank. So, we built it up with pressure, and I kept popping out air, and whatever is in there pops out of here. You know, so all that dust and all that crap that went in there came out. And um, that's it, because I don't want that crap over here. If I'm using a blow gun like this or, or some sort of a air die grinder tool or something, you know. All right, so I got my helper here, my organizer, my professional organizer here. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we got some mm -hmm. Teflon tape. We're going to need that. I'm going to use it here. Okay. On the threads. Right. Check it out. When craftsman, when craftsman was made in the USA, huh? Forged in the USA. found a double female here fitting instead of going to the tank to drain the water from the tank I'm gonna be coming to this here all right hopefully this guy's not damaged from the heat and let's I'm gonna screw the female here <laughs> that came with the kit and we're gonna throw some Teflon tape over here okay got some Teflon tape on over here Put it on this double Make sure everything. Here. I'm gonna let this air compressor run until it stops. I'm gonna fill it up completely with air. And I wanna check for leaks. If there's any leaks, now's the time to fix. All right, I can't fix it afterwards when everything's put back, everything's put back together. stopped all right this thing took forever to fill up this little tank so all right i pulled the pulled my uh workbench away from the wall i ran into an issue it does not fit i took the handle out it still doesn't fit um it may fit without this plastic cover all right i had it removed but i think it may need the the cover because there's a fan and um you want the cover because that fan produces wind to cool the electric, the E-word motor. And if you take this cover out, the wind will be scattered uh, away. I don't think the the wind will be will be uh, sent to the engine. You understand? If I have it open, if I have it open, the fan is here. If you have this off, it won't produce any wind tunnel. You, you, the, the, the wind, the cooler air that enters here, won't be controlled and pushed towards the E-word end motor here. Understand? So you, I think this plastic is important to have. It's got to stay here to help cool the engine. All right, the engine, the motor. So yeah, here's the here's a look at what the back here looks like, and here's that freaking bow from the weight. Look at this. Look at it. I gotta put like a, a bar here. Something. I gotta put some sort of a brace here, man. This whole shit's gonna one day wind up in the floor. Look at that. Alright, so. Anyway, let me try <clears throat> removing these these rubber feet here, which are beautiful because this this here eliminates vibrations. But let's see. See. It may fit perfectly snug there. <laughs> it fits. It fits, but I don't like how it doesn't have the rubber feet now. Also, that that means it's gonna be noisy. 
that, those rubber feet, this here will cut down in the sound and the noise and vibrations. So that's gonna suck not having that. Oh man, but it fits, it fits in here. All right, but I'm gonna look for some sort of rubber mat. Look at, look how tight that is. Look at that. Shit. Maybe I'll put some sort of a rubber mat here. <sighs> Here's the, the hose I did. I don't know if it's gonna be long enough to, to hang out here. I may have to put it here towards the fish tank. Okay, so I pulled it back out a little. Actually a lot. Uh, so I can have this out. If this bothers me some, I'm gonna have to put a, a bend here, a bracket, and face this side, sideways, because when it dropped, it touches over here, and it was like kinked. And when this is full of air, man, this thing kind of blew up twice the size, and um, it, it was bad, pretty bad here. Look at this. All right, so I pulled it back out. I put it on an angle. It's got two of these, on that side and nothing on this side. So now the compressor's on an angle so the water could drain out better, all right? It'll also drain out better. So let's take a quick test. Let's just say there's water there, whatever. We're gonna pull, pull some air out and see what happens. See if it works. If there's no leaks, so we're good. guy is a little a little noisy but uh not too bad all right here it is get yourself some teflon tape and go at it wrap up these threads just like this all right okay so i'm gonna get one of these female this is gonna clip into this coupler Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to remove this crap. Yeah, yeah, we should be good with that. And then we're gonna go straight with one of these guys straight onto this. All right, so okay, here we go. Got it wrenched on. Got it. Yeah, no leaks, we're good. Ah, wow. okay. For now we're good, maybe we will luck out. Look at it. Man, that son of a bitch stretches out, huh? Okay, so, this, I wanna try to bring this guy on this side. Somehow, somewhere here. And, what else? Yeah, that should be long enough. I really wish this was out here okay that way i could stretch that over there to get to my sink all right i'm over there cleaning diffs blowing diffs out i could do it on the sink you know but in the future i may just run a hose run a line up to over here and then connect this to the to the line over here i don't know for now I'm not doing nothing. Everything is going smoothly. We, we will be able to work like this. We'll be able to work. All right, so I wanna put this all back so I can go get some dinner. It's late. And um, let's fix this up. Lazy ass E-word Oreo. All right, fellas. This is what I'm up to. Nothing done on this. I just put this back. 
got some air here finally. I ran a, a drain line here, all right? Because I can't get to my air compressor tank, you know? So when I want to drain the air compressor, I got this here. All right, I gotta be careful. This just doesn't crack my fish tank. Uh, I gotta put a, I gotta figure out something with that. I still gotta hook up this shit. All right. Well, good. I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. I'm gonna hook up some power still over here. Got it all hooked up, all ready to go. I'm gonna go get a screw and mount this over here. Anyway, just wanna show you guys. Got some air in here now. I don't like this gun, it's, it feels, I think I'm gonna put a better air gun here. Maybe I'll use this guy here. in here. All right, all good. Cleaned up the wires over here a little. We're all good. I got the bench powered. I got this great surge protector here. Also has, um, I can charge my phone if I wanted to. That's it. All good. Still missing something. I got a lot of organizing to do still, but.